more on how to keep your furry friends safe. And you're there with Dr. Jill. And good morning, you two. The last thing you want to do is when the kids do set down their little jack o' lantern full of candy, is to have it knock over. And maybe Diva, who's in her little raincoat right there, she's so precious, to get into it because it could hurt her tummy and maybe even kill her. So, Dr. Jill, I want you to run through some of the candy. I know chocolate is one that you need to keep away from the dog. Absolutely. All these really pretty, colorful candies. Look at these beautiful M&Ms. Aren't they pretty? Well, the dogs think so too. And so they want to eat them and they can get very sick. Four ounces of chocolate can kill your pet. So make sure to keep the chocolates and the candies away from them. So maybe it would be the best idea to put it into a jar, maybe even with a lid on the countertop away from the dogs or even the cats. Right. All the way up sealed because some of these guys are counter surfers. So they can actually get in and break the jars and then you have glass to clean up. Now how about any of the other hard candy? I know the peppermint, which is some of my favorite things, to just pop in my mouth. What if one were to fall out of my pocket? You know, I'm going into work, you know, right after Halloween. Right. Some of the candies, the wrappers actually can be toxic too. People don't realize that. So some of the wrappers can get caught up in their gut. They can have to, um, they can get uh, obstructions. They can get septic from things like that. They can back up in there. So you need to really be careful about that. Uh -oh. See what I mean? She just loves them. <laughs> Let's see. And Dr. Jill, one thing that I didn't consider, oh, we have decorations. We set them out for Halloween, just like these little pumpkins. Well, one popped off, and the last thing we want it to do is to get inside their stomach. Right. Some of them like to eat these. Look, these are little ornamentals. They're usually in floral arrangements, and they can be very deceiving. They look like tomatoes, and you want to make sure that they're not near your pet because they can be very toxic as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What else do we have on the table over here? And, of course, the same thing goes with, like, the mask because you don't want them to start chewing on it. And I would assume that would be something more along the lines of a choking hazard. Right, and also pets get very scared with masks. They run, some of them run out the door, and then they leave the house. A lot of pets get lost over Halloween, so you want to make sure they're microchipped, they have their proper ID. Make sure costumes, I don't know if you saw a little deja vu here, she's a cow, she has these little ears that she was trying to eat earlier. So these little soft things they want to chew up can be very, very dangerous to your pet as well. One, one quick question, I'm going to go off topic just a tad. Okay, I want to take Diva out with me. There are kids with the mask. Do I need to have her on a shorter leash that way she doesn't try to go after their candy or their costume as well. Right, absolutely. Make sure if you're going to take your pet with you that they're pretty savvy around other people, masks, costumes, loud noises. A lot of these animatronic type uh, Halloween decorations now can be very scary to pets. A lot of them move and their eyes flash and the animals get very scared. I know it's kind of catchy just for like me. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that over there? Let me check it out. Is there any candy that pets are allowed to have that is okay for them? Well, they do make dog treats, dog candies. You can make some homemade treats too, which are wonderful, but you want to make sure not too many, of course. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure they don't get fat. We want to make sure that they don't have sugar in them, things of that nature, just like for your kids as well. So that's probably something that I could go check out online also. I'm looking out for my free Halloween music to play a little bit later or just the treats that I can make at home. Right. There's all sorts of recipes out there now. You can check out my website, too, for different uh, diets, natural foods that you can feed them, whole foods, and then there's a lot of really great little pet bakeries around town, too. Uh, perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Jill. So you guys know if you have pets, just like children, you have to keep in mind they're not allowed to eat the decorations or the candy. So just kind of keep it away out of their reach because, like Diva, she can hop onto the high thing. So keep them back on the counter. Yeah, good, good advice, advice there. Yeah. Pia, thanks to Dr. Dr. Jill, too. If you'd like to know more from Dr. Jill, check out her website. As she mentioned, it's uh, drjill with a Y.com, or you can call her up. The phone number there is uh, on your screen.